Hi, Nathan. I'm going to go over the uh, very roll tester a little bit so you'll be familiar with it. Uh, I already have the, this is the master gear, and I have a half inch uh, arbor there to hold the master gear. So you just put it here. And then I have uh, an arbor that I found uh, to hold the gear. It's, uh, it's right here, you can see. So the machine right now is actually set up. It's very easy to set up. Uh, we have the, uh, the pressure is on four ounce and it, uh, you can move it from here. You can increase it or decrease it. Also, there is these two lever. The one on the right, this one, it engages, you, you use that for moving the, uh, moving the gear in and out with a fine adjustment from here by turning this back and forth. When this is engaged, you can move this piece, the gear, you can move it very uh, slowly in and out to adjust. And the one on the left-hand side is a, is a lock. Once you have the gear and the master gear in the right position, you just lock it. Right now it's set up so that when, uh, when you engage the gear with the uh, master gear, it's set up to, to check the gear. This lever here engages the master gear to the gear. You just lift it up and, and it brings the master gear to mesh. Um, and then you can turn it by hand. You can just roll it as you can see here. I'm rolling it. You can roll it this way here so you don't touch the master gear or very slowly turn the master gear like so. And it's running within few tenths. So this is a very good gear right there. It's very simple to operate. And oh, also when you get it, it's gonna be locked. There is a lock right here on top. If you turn it clockwise, it will lock the lever. Now you can't move it in and out. This is for transport so that it doesn't move back and forth. So when you get it and um, you set it up, you need to first unlock it. Just turn it counterclockwise and it's unlocked. Now you can move the lever back and forth, as you see. Then just check here. That's it. Uh, it got very late right now. It's five o'clock in the afternoon. So, and I still have to pack it uh, very nicely so it doesn't get damaged. It will ship uh, tomorrow, tomorrow morning. And here is the print. I note down the measurement that you need to hold for now when you get your machine going. The, I gave you some wires, there are 18,000 wires, so you can check the gear. And you need to hold it between uh, 0.181 and 0.179. This is a reference only. Eventually we're gonna check it to a center distance on the tester. We're gonna establish a, a measurement for a center distance and you go by that. I'll explain all this when I get up there and uh, set up all the testers and the machines for you. And here is some gears that I made, just for reference. They're not the best gear, but uh, the tooling I had, whatever I had, I just ran them so you can have something to play with until you start running your parts. All right, I'll talk to you when you get the, the tester and let me know whatever you